hello friends in this video we will we are going to solve this question you can see the circuit here okay this is the circuit okay so let's read the question complete the following timing diagrams uh, for this logic circuit diagram first assume that gates have no delay complete the following waveform so in uh, I mean circuit is given to you there is no gate delay so we need to draw the uh, timing diagram for d e and f d is the invert invert and uh, means uh, for d a not gate is connected for e a nand gate is connected and for f a and gate is connected so we need to know what is not gate nand gate and and gate then we are we will be able to uh, so uh, draw this wave output waveform so if you are watching my channel first time please like and subscribe my channel uh, let's do it so this is the circuit and this is the uh, waveform abc so since we are going to use three no, uh, gates so basically not gate if you are applying zero so you will get output one okay and if you are applying one so you are getting output zero so this is the not gate if you talk about nand gate and and gate so it's a two input and and nand gate so what will be the combination zero 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 one one zero and one one will be your combination if you talk about nand so it will first draw for an and because it's a direct multiplication so you will get zero zero one will multiply you will get zero one zero will multiply and you will get zero and here one one will give you one so if if you directly want to draw you can invert all these input if you don't want to draw so you can make it like this zero zero will give you one zero one will give you one and one zero will give you one and one one will give you zero so this is the truth table for the nand and and gate so uh, now first consider this let's draw d first then we will discuss about uh, our uh, what uh, e and f okay so let's draw for d so as i told you if you are applying zero so it will have become one when one you will be it will become zero so initially it is zero until this value so what it means d will uh, you can see d is starting with the one also so it will remain one till this value here it has become one so it will switch to zero okay and it will remain zero until this value and it will again become one and to rest of the duration okay so this is your d so it was quite easy to draw the d now let's move to b and b c so let first we will consider this we are going to draw e so b and c is there so we will consider this b and c okay so this is your b and this is your c we are going to consider now we need to take this to table so what will be the finding so this will be your finding when both the inputs are one one only then you are getting output zero okay both the inputs are one one so just pick any one of the inputs so i am picking b so you can see b is zero and it is zero till this value so if you take see the truth table so you can see if any one of the input is zero you are getting output one so b is zero to this whole duration so no need to check what is the value of c b is zero so just this is zero so just make it e as one till this value okay until this value this is the b value okay now b has become one okay b has become one so now we need to check what is the value of c so at this instant c is one to this this duration means this whole duration and b is already one for rest of the duration so it will one one will give you zero till this duration till this value it will give you zero okay now c has become zero okay b was already one so what will happen one zero will give you one okay because only only one condition in there when both inputs are one one only then you are getting output zero so you can see here to this duration b is one and c is one so that's why we are getting here zero zero and zero and rest of the places we are getting one okay so now we have d and e 
So let's draw our F. So F we need to consider this D input and we need to consider this E input. Okay. And this is our truth table. Okay. So if you talk about the truth table, so if both the inputs, just check if both the inputs 1 1 then only you are getting output 1 if any one of the input is 0 output is 0 okay reverse condition is there so both the input check both the inputs are 1 1 so initially d is 1 1 and 1 for first three time duration e is 1 1 1 for first three so what will happen for first three f will remain 1 okay but in fourth uh, time four time slot it has become d has become zero so i already told you if any one of the input becomes zero out will give you zero so just it will become zero and d is zero till this duration okay means zero for three more time duration so it will remain zero here you can see although d has become one but e is e has become zero so it will remain zero till this value now at this point a is uh, sorry d is 1 and e is 1 means for the rest of the duration d is 1 and e is 1 means both the inputs are 1 1 so you will again get 1 1 so this is your output f so i hope you able to understand this kind of question so if you like it please like and subscribe my channel thank you